What's up everybody, it's me, Blake316 with a new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my Nintendo Wii U game collection. Now, if you guys don't know, Nintendo's been sending out reports stating that they're pretty much gonna ship out their last shipment of the Nintendo Wii U's. After this last shipment, it's a dead console. They're not gonna ship any more uh, systems to the stores. They're not gonna make any more games, etc. The system is officially dead. So you know what, I figured I'd show you my guys, my game collection for the system. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't see myself buying any more Nintendo Wii U games, whether it's at the end of the lifespan or whatever games they may release from now until whenever it's officially dead, or or just in general. I feel like throughout the console lifespan, I've always picked the games I've always wanted, and I've definitely been happy with my Nintendo, Nintendo Wii U. I thought it was a pretty good console. It definitely had its flaws. I thought the online was hugely flawed. I would totally have paid like a subscription fee just to make it a better online as far as networking and voice chats, etc. But I'm not really here to talk about the flaws of the console. I'm here to show you guys my Nintendo Wii U game collection. And let's get straight into it. Uh, the first game that I'm going to show you guys on my Nintendo Wii U that I have is a special edition. And it is the Xenoblade Chronicles X special edition. I actually did an unboxing of this. I actually regret buying a special edition. You know what? I didn't pre-order the special edition, and when I seen it, when I went to go buy it on release day at Nintendo World, they had tons of them. I, I thought it was a big deal that I had an opportunity to get the special edition, meaning that they were sitting right there, they were sold out online everywhere. Um, I regret it because the special edition is not that great. I totally wish I just got the regular copy of the game. But I do have this Xenoblades Chronicle X special edition for the Wii U. I did an unboxing of this. Now some other boxes or special editions I have, here is the Mario Party 10 special edition that came with, at the time, the exclusive Mario Amiibo. I only bought this game just to get that Mario Amiibo because at the time I was really only collecting Amiibos and that was the only way to get it. I'll be honest with you, I never even played Mario Party 10. I just wanted the Amiibo, but I have Mario Party 10, uh, the big box. Another big box, which is actually pretty freaking limited and I was lucky enough to pre-order this, is the Super Smash Bros uh, for the Wii U that came with the controller as well as the game. This was a really hard to find. If you didn't pre-order this, you definitely were not getting it. And I was smart enough to pre-order it. Uh, awesome game and got the GameCube controller. It also comes with the uh, GameCube adapter right there. Uh, my last big box I have is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD that comes with the Amiibo. Um, I actually never even opened this. I plan on opening this and I do want to play it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have this game on the original Wii, but I bought the Wii U version because I just wanted a better control scheme to play with it with an actual controller, not a Wii remote. Um, so I do have the Zelda Twilight Princess HD for the Wii U. Now those are my special, all my special editions or big boxes. Now, uh, one game to show you guys, or the next game I should say, was actually a huge surprise to me, and it's Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario 3D World. I remember when I first seen gameplay of this game, it looked like a Nintendo 3DS game. But long and behold, when it actually got released the console and was finally released, this was a great game. I really enjoyed this game. It definitely gives you that old uh, throwback uh, 3D Mario feel. Definitely an awesome game. It's not better than Mario 64, but you can put it in the same category as being just as good as the game. Another game that I got that a lot of people are hating on based on, the, based on the art style but was a really good game and is still a really good game is Splatoon. I really like the online multiplayer. It's tons of fun. I wish it was voice chats but there isn't. But I love the colors. Good campaign. And just an overall really fun multiplayer game. In my opinion, this was probably the best multiplayer game that came out that year. A lot of fun. Another really good game that I'm pretty sure everyone else knows is a good game is Mario Kart 8. Um... Definitely one of the better Mario Kart games that came out. A lot of fun. This game looks really damn good. It's definitely a pretty game as far as graphics. But all Mario Kart games are fun. And I don't really have to talk too much about this. But I got Mario Kart 8. Another game that I was super hyped for because I loved the, the Wii version. And when they came out on the Wii U, I had to have it. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I love these Donkey Kong games. I love the challenge. I more also uh, more love the uh, art style i think they're beautiful looking games the graphics are definitely challenging these are really awesome games i would suggest these games if you like challenging games these games are gonna piss you off but they're awesome and i like this game i got i, I like this game a lot donkey Kong tropical freeze another game i got that actually came bundled with my nintendo wii u is nintendo land uh nothing crazy it definitely wasn't your uh what was that wii bundle with Wii Sports doesn't it doesn't even uh, compete with that. So Nintendo Land, another game that in my opinion was a huge disappointment. Maybe I just didn't know how to play that well. 
or maybe the online just sucked. Like I said, if it had better online, it could have been a lot more fun. Uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I remember I was really hyped to get this game. I bought a keyboard. I bought a headset. But nobody was talking in voice chat. Um, it was okay. I know a lot of people like it. I thought it was all right. A game I really, really liked, I need to go back to playing, is Assassin's Creed uh, 4 Black Flag. Whoa. <laughs> um, I like this game a lot. Um, basically because it had pirates in it. I thought it was really good. Um, I thought it was a really good game. And it was it's just... Uh, I really like the pirate aspect of it. I like the boats and the pirate themes. I always wanted a really good pirate game, and this is definitely it. Definitely recommend. This, in my opinion, this is the best uh, Assassin's Creed there is. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Another game, man, I got caught up in the hype with these games. They always look so good in the trailers, but when you actually get them, they're pretty boring. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes. I thought this game was going to be amazing because it's like Legos and Marvels, and it looks so friggin' cool, right? Guess what? It, it's a typical boring Lego game. I do kind of want to go back to playing it, but I got this as well. Another game that was a lot of fun is Dark DuckTales Remastered. Uh, great uh, 2D platformer, Duck DuckTales what can I say? Great game. Definitely recommend this game. Another game that was kind of given to me as, like, I guess, a gag gift. Wasn't supposed to be anything serious. And it is Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. Um, you know, this game isn't that bad. It's like it's, You're pretty much like a stunt driver. Unfortunately, there is no racing. You're not actually racing other cars. You're just doing stunts in your Hot Wheels car. Another game that I actually liked, and as you can see some figures in the background, is... Disney Infinity. Um, I actually liked this game. I thought it was pretty fun to the point where I thought about getting the other like 2.0 and 3.0. But I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. But I did enjoy this game for the time being. It was pretty fun. Uh, another game that in my opinion was a huge disappointment. I know a lot of Wii U fanboys are going to call me a hater, blah, blah, blah. Hyrule Warriors. I thought this game was, in my opinion, trash <laughs> and overrated. It was not fun at all. I played this game for like two hours and I had absolutely no fun with this game at all. I would not recommend this game. Uh, a game that I always really like are the 2D platformers are the new Super Mario Brothers U. This game was a lot of fun. I really like, I enjoy these Mario platformers. What can I say? Mario uh, platformer, a lot of fun. Now, another game that a lot of people like, but I in particular didn't like that much, is new Super Luigi U. I know this is a lot of top games on a lot of people's list. I didn't like the game because I didn't like... It, was it like a time aspect thrown in this game? I know all Mario games have timers, but this is like... I don't know. I just didn't really like it. Um, but yep, yeah, got this game. Also, I guess this is kind of rare because it's the green case. Uh, awesome game that I beat and I really enjoyed and I definitely recommend as a system seller is Bayonetta 2. This game, in my opinion, is better than God of War 3 or any of those beat-em-up type games. This game was awesome. Bayonetta 2. Awesome looking game. Another game that I got that I never even opened but I do want to play is The Legend of Zelda HD Wind Waker. I never played the GameCube version and obviously I never played the Wii U version but... I got this game. I definitely want to play it. And now another game. This is kind of funny. I didn't like these ga the game mode in the actual game this game originated from. But the game itself is pretty fun. And it's Captain Toad Treasure Tractor. I guess I didn't like it in uh, Super Mario 3D World because I just wanted to play the game itself. It was so great. I didn't want any side puzzles. But playing the game by itself, it's a really fun game. Really challenging. Good game. Another game that was really fun, it is the NES Pack. See, this is this is good and it's also not good. Reason being, it's good because you get to play all these new made-up levels and challenges of this game. The bad thing is when you play all these new made-up levels, you actually want to play the real game. And they, they, this doesn't come with the real versions of the games. It's just the made-up levels. So it's kind of a tease. But I thought it was fun. I It's a good game for like 30 bucks to play. And the last game I have here, but I already showed it, and it is Super Smash Bros. Wii U, the actual physical game. Uh, great, in my opinion, this is the best version of uh, uh, Smash Brothers. I like this game a lot, Wii U. But yeah, as you can see, I got quite a few games for my Nintendo Wii U, as you can see right here.
you know, a lot of people say, oh, the Wii U ain't got no games, blah, blah, blah. They're lying. They're just a bunch of haters. And the Wii U has really good games, in my opinion. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of people let all that hate get to them. And, you know, a lot of people never even gave it a try. But I thought the Wii U was a great console, a very short-lived console, but it was a great console. But it's me, Blake316, just showing you guys my Nintendo Wii U collection. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.